Hey, Weather Warriors, today I'm going to talk about a potential sleeper snow event here in the southern United States. Potential significant snowfall in very localized areas coming up here towards mid to late week. In this video, I'm going to talk about that. I'm going to talk about timing, track, location, amounts, and much more. Before we begin, click the subscribe button below if you're into these daily forecast weather event breakdowns, much more detailed than you would see on TV. All right, so let's just get right into it here. Uh, as we head towards midweek, there's going to be a big time influx of moisture. What we're looking at right now is the European computer model. There's going to be a ton of moisture streaming up out of the southeast into the southeastern United States for several days. So there's going to be some heavy, heavy rainfall across Texas, Louisiana, all the way out to Arkansas, Mississippi, Alabama, Georgia, and the Carolinas. This is an area that's going to get significant snow uh, rainfall amounts then all the way up to the north towards maine there's going to be a nice little snow event into southern canada now this what we're going to talk about is the southeast here there's a big high pressure system this is the thing you're going to want to watch this is a big time high pressure system with a big time uh, arctic blast coming out of canada it's going to be very very quick moving not a very long lasting arctic blast but it's going to push some cold air in and will we get enough cold air to break into this stream of moisture. That's gonna be the big question. The models and my overall hunch has, has been that we very well might, I'll tell you in a second here, but snowfall starts out here on Wednesday into Thursday across the plains into Colorado. You know, not a whole lot of snow with that, maybe a couple inches, a few inches with that. But you can definitely see this high pressure system blasting out of Canada. Meanwhile, there's still rain ongoing in the middle of the, to late week across the southeastern United States. As you can see, as we head towards Friday, we'll uh, play this forward. Uh, this is where it's going to get really interesting. Uh, you know, as this high gets farther and farther south into the southeastern United States, this precip shield on the northern end, there's going to be the potential for some mixing at least and potentially some significant snow in very localized areas, especially the upper elevations out here in western parts of uh, North Carolina here. Now, you know, you're still seeing this stream of moisture and you got a new low develop, a low developing here off the coast. And this is the thing that I think is going to take over here. And if it can get strong enough with this high pressure behind it, there could be a little snow event here in the Carolinas and maybe even out, even out to Tennessee as well. And perhaps Arkansas, the most likely area the models, and you know, I've been watching this for a week or so, a few days at least, the most likely area has really kind of been within this region right here. Really all of uh, North Carolina and maybe even the northern half of South Carolina. Now, this is the GFS. The NAM computer model is a lot more generous. We'll look at that in a second. But you can still see moisture streaming north. And so I think right on the back side, far enough north, you could get a little bit of wet snow to mix in with this thing. And because this moisture is so potent, if you know if we can get temperatures just one or two degrees cooler there could be significant snowfall amounts right now it looks to be slight to moderate amounts but we'll have to watch this and you can see that high pressure system moving in by friday and saturday now and, and very cold in the southeastern united states i want to show you the nam computer model and what i'm going to look what i'm going to show you first is the trends of the gfs so this is uh, the same hour this is for sunday for snowfall amounts all the way out to Sunday, and this is different runs. So we're gonna go back several runs, and we're just gonna play this through. It's the same time, just different runs, and you can see significant snowfall amounts for even Georgia, South Carolina, North Carolina. But as we get closer to now, it actually disappeared, but now it's coming back with the latest runs, just a little bit in North Carolina. Also, some uh, you know, a few inches out here in the plains of Kansas, Missouri, or not Camp Missouri, uh, Oklahoma, Texas, Colorado, and then also Nebraska. Um, a couple inches up in uh, northeast Nebraska as well. But the main show here, it's really starting to focus in on northern Arkansas, Tennessee, North Carolina, maybe even Virginia, and the north part of South Carolina. I, I definitely think this is going to trend like this, as you've seen here, maybe a little bit farther north. But here's the reason why. If you go look at the NAM computer model, um, this is very interesting. Uh, the latest run, the latest couple of runs, have been a lot more generous. And the NAM starts to become more accurate as we get closer to the event. So we'll have to watch this to see if this trends towards it. But as you can see, you get a lot of snow in the plains. This is uh, Thursday. But as we head towards Friday, Thursday night into Friday, 
a very healthy blanket of snow over Tennessee. Okay, you can definitely see those blues, those dark blues, so heavy snowfall just north of that rich moisture feed. As this low really starts to get going, that snowfall will increase. So I think the main show will be to the east of Tennessee, but at least a moderate chance of accumulating snowfall in Tennessee for at least an inch or more. But as we head towards Friday, this low pressure system starts to deepen a bit. Not a whole lot, but it's very slow moving. So even though these this low pressure system is not all that strong, it's only a 1,013 millibar, the high to the north is really strong, so there's still a decent pressure gradient, meaning, you know, even with that pressure gradient, you're still going to get very good energy, uh, you know, some breezy winds. But like I said, this low is so, it's weak, so it's going to be very slow moving. And there's just going to be a continuous pull of moisture to the north. And that's going to enhance snowfall totals here in North Carolina and Virginia if the NAM were to verify, really all the models. But if we can get enough cold air, there could be uh, significant snowfall amounts. Now, significant is a subjective term. Obviously, in the southern United States, a few inches can be significant so it is a little bit different but the nam computer model is actually forecasting several now i'm going to show you this as we zoom in to the southeastern united states here then we're going to look at previous events and see how they did because we got to look back at previous events as well because we don't just want to look at models we'll look at some previous type of events and see how they compare so here's the nam this is the snowfall amounts for the nam and we'll go into north carolina here in a second but you can definitely see Across the southern U.S., Arkansas, Tennessee, and parts of North Carolina here, a good swath of two to six inches. As you get towards the Carolina, it's even forecasting more than that. Now, I think this is overdone, but like I said, upper elevations, localized areas where that degree difference, you could definitely see some six-plus inch amounts with this type of setup. Now, the areas out here, much more uncertain. The trend this winter has usually been kind of warmer and farther north and it's kind of in this region of the United States to fall apart a little bit. So I'm a lot less likely out here that you're going to get snowfall, at least that much. But definitely at least, I would say, half an inch to an inch in some of these areas. Not everyone, but some of these areas. With a couple of areas seeing a couple of inches. But the main show, I believe, is going to be out here in North Carolina. So let's zoom in to that region go out to the regional area, southeastern U.S. here, mid-Atlantic region. And you can see as we head towards uh, Sunday here, all the way out to Sunday, or Friday, excuse me, you can see these snowfall amounts. And yeah, 10 inches in some of these areas. So the models have been kind of flirting off and on with a decent little event here in the central part of North Carolina through maybe even the north central part of South Carolina. So I'd say the most likely area for heavy snow is going to be based off this and based off some other things really right within this zone right here i mean i really think the placement from the nam is going to be accurate now do i think 10 inches that's still probably a little bit overdone uh, but definitely at least a few maybe as much as six inches in some of these areas which could be significant with those heavy wet snow that's going to fall it's going to be very heavy very wet so nothing to you know play around with especially with uh wet snow and uh, you know even a little bit of breeze can cause some uh, issues there the analog is not overly impressive as you can see these are previous storm events that are similar to this one and he, it's not a whole lot of snow parts of north carolina a few inches a couple inches probabilities are not very high at all so that's something to keep in mind that's why i really had this area at a very low risk now this is for friday thursday and friday but I really think the main show is going to be out here. So with that said, folks, uh, share this with a friend. We're going to have some more updates as we get closer. Check out that 10-year radar time lapse up there I made. Hope you enjoy this video. Subscribe below, and we'll see you soon.